Um, I'm going to start. I see that many people are joining. I'm going to start with making um, a simple introduction uh, of me. Uh, I'm Jessica. I'm the content and social media manager here at Publer. Um, I've been working for Publer for quite some time now, and I'm sure that I know all the ins and outs of Publer, being that I'm not only a full-time employee, but I'm also uh, a customer because I'm managing, I'm using Publer to manage all my clients' social networks, as well as uh, my own business uh, social accounts. So um, two other team members uh, have already joined this webinar and they will be answering all your questions. So feel free to add all your questions uh, on the chat box. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna start. Um, the first uh, 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna talk about what has happened and what we have announced of this first quarter. So I'm gonna start by um, let me share my screen real quick. Okay, I'm sure you can see my screen now. I'm gonna head to the roadmap. And here, as you can see, the first quarter is already, um, it has some strike throughs. And uh, I'm gonna start with uh, the first new feature, uh, which is the new calendar view. Um, this visual calendar, in fact, at first, I wasn't really sure if it was um, let's say necessary. I thought, okay, we already have a calendar. Maybe it's not uh, even worth it to spend a lot of time on creating and advancing uh, the visual calendar. But um, I was wrong. So I'm going to head to Publer real quick and I'm going to click on calendar. And as you can see, uh, but better, I'm going to do something else. Let me switch to Publer because I have more. Um, I have more uh, posts here. So let me go right here. And as you can see, uh, I can view everything in detail. So I can filter by social network. I can um, filter by post, for example, oh, I only want to see the scheduled posts. I want to see the ones that uh, are already posted, the ones that maybe have failed uh, due to my internet connection or something. I can filter uh, all the posts uh, by uh, team member and I can choose the date I want to see the posts uh, for. Also, what I love most is the daily, weekly and monthly view. So let's say, for example, what have I scheduled for, um, uh, for May? And let's see, okay, Okay, I have scheduled some posts, but not, uh, let's say, for the 1st of May, 3rd and 4th. So I can see that I have an empty calendar. So I'm going to start scheduling some brand new posts. Another thing that I love a lot is uh, on the daily view where I can see um, live preview how the posts look like. So let me find a post. Um, okay, here we go. We have this one. So if I click on this one, I can see how it will appear on uh, on Instagram, for example, and I'm happy with the way it looks like. So uh, I'm not going to manage that post. I'm not going to edit that post. And another cool thing is that if you had uh, to the weekly uh, or monthly view, you can see, let me head to May real quick. You can see a little calendar icon right here, which uh, if you click, and I'm going to select this one, for example, if I click that, uh, we have already listed uh, the social media holidays. So if you're feeling fresh out of ideas, you don't know what to post on social media, simply click that calendar icon and we will provide these options. So for example, is the national barbecue day and I want to schedule something on uh, May 16th. So I'm going to click that. And uh, to make things easier, I'm simply going to select, for example, a GIF about barbecue and select Facebook, LinkedIn or Twitter, for example, because only uh, these three social networks allow GIFs. Okay, so I think this is it uh, regarding the calendar view. Let's head to the Instagram link in bio. Um, I'm sure that a lot of other social media managers uh, ha have the same nightmare. So changing uh, the link in bio over and over again, every time they schedule a new post, every time they share a new post. And this is uh, 
by far my favorite new feature on Publer because I can literally schedule a new post and add the link and then I have nothing to do. I have already created uh, my unique link in bio, which we are going to uh, create one. Uh, we are going to create a brand new uh, one right here on the demo team. And uh, let me go real quick to accounts and select the Instagram account. Here's the link in bio. Um, I can decide a username. This has to be unique. For example, test account. And this exact link is what we are going to add to uh, the Instagram uh, bio. So I will never have to change that link anymore because every time I will schedule a brand new post, I'm going to add a link to that post. So whoever clicks on this link in bio on Instagram. So let me show you how Publer's link in bio works. So let me head to Instagram. I hope I'm using Publer here. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna click profile and I'm gonna click the link in bio uh, that we have created for Publer. And this is the link in bio, uh, Publer's link in bio. So we have here Publer, uh, which means if I click that, it will automatically redirect me to the Instagram account. If I click here, we have decided to add the website there. So you can add whatever you want. You can add a shop, you can add uh, the blog or whatever you need. We have decided to put the website. And here you can list up to 15 other important URLs. For example, we have listed Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, so all socials. And also we have listed the roadmap, the blog, the affiliate, uh, feedback, and the help center. So every single link here is very, very important. This is why we have added everything here. And also this is the exact same grid that we have on Instagram right here. Except for this one, this is a reel and we do not support reels. So here you go, these, these photos are, uh, have a URL attached. So for example, if I click this one, it will redirect me to this article. So this is a brand new article. I don't have to change the link in bio for this article. All I need to do is add the link to this photo. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna cover this one uh, again later. Um, let's go to the synchronized posts. This is another cool feature because um, okay, let's go back uh, to the nightmare uh, theme. So um, I know that many of us um, write some typos. So we do uh, write some text and they might contain some typos. And it's impossible uh, for some of us to, um, let's say, log into that social network and correct the text or uh, the, the grammar uh, error or the spelling error. So what we have done is you can edit the post, the text right within Publer. And this is a very cool feature because I can um, simply click on a post that has already been shared on the calendar view and see that where is the typo. I'm gonna find the typo and edit the typo right within Publer. Also, another thing that um, I'm loving about this synchronized post uh, from right from the name, um, there are some things that you share manually. So we don't always, so we use Publer 99% uh, of the time, that's, that's a fact. But there are some things that we have to uh, share manually. For example, we reach a milestone. Uh, whenever we reach, for example, um, when we reach uh, 12K on Twitter, uh, I saw that and I didn't want to go to Publer and schedule a new post about something that I have already seen. I, I just saw. So uh, what I need to do is simply manually schedule that, manually share that. Um, and then Publer will synchronize the post and I will have that exact post that I manually shared on the calendar as well. And it is very important because I can take that exact post and reuse it for another social network. So I can share that exact Twitter post that I manually shared for Facebook. So that's all up to me. Okay, um, let's go to the Instagram feed preview. This is another cool feature. Um, so 
I care a lot about um, the Instagram, uh, how the way Instagram looks. So let me go to the calendar real quick. I'm going to select Instagram and I'm going to click on preview uh, on feed. I'm sorry. So here we go. These are uh, all the posts that we have shared uh, on, on Instagram. Also the ones that we have scheduled for the future. So what you need to do, for example, you want to uh, schedule some new posts and you, you want to uh, have a very good balance of all the colors and you want the feed to be attractive and you want every visitor to become a customer. Because um, for example, um, on the first side, um, I can see that, okay, this Instagram profile has a free webinar. Uh, it's uh, welcoming me to something or it has an article here. So it is very inviting and I personally adore the colors. This is why I take good, good care of, of the colors. And in order for you to create an inviting Instagram feed, we need to have a feed preview superpower. So this is what we have done. And you can do a lot of things right here. First thing, you need to create a posting schedule. For example, you want to share on Instagram only Monday, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So you can create a posting schedule for those days. And then you already have, uh, you have already set the uh, posting schedule. All you need to do is select some photos and click auto schedule media, which means Pablo will find all the available time, slot, time slots and these posts will be automatically scheduled according to their, um, their times. Okay, and also you can create a brand new post, of course. Um, if you, you can also import some media. If I click here, you can import media from uh, external URLs, Google um, or whatever. Um, also, you can import some media from Google Drive, um, Dropbox, Unsplash, one of my favorites. Most of the photos here, uh, I've taken these uh, on Unsplash, to, to be honest. Okay, so um, pretty much this is the introduction for the, per, uh, for the first um, quarter. Um, we are about to launch a lot more new features. Everything looks cool, I'm sure about that. Uh, I'm sure you think the same. So I'm going to remove uh, the roadmap real quick and I'm going to head to a publisher so I can start explaining everything that you need to know so you can um, make the most out of publisher. There are tons of features. Um, let's start. This is the, uh, this is a demo account. So these, uh, I, I have only added a Facebook page, an Instagram account, um, LinkedIn page, and a Twitter account. So let's suppose I'm gonna start uh, creating some posts. So I'm gonna select this Facebook page. I'm gonna write some um, text here. We also have some formatting uh, tools. So if I uh, select this text, I can make it bold and italic if I want. And uh, I can create the exact same post if I want, for different social networks. For example, I can select Instagram and the LinkedIn uh, page. So right now I'm creating the same post for different social accounts. But we know, for example, let me select Twitter as well. We know that all social networks are different from each other. And we know that Twitter only allows 280 characters, which means um, if you want to write a long text made of, for example, a thousand characters, it won't be possible. Uh, the text will be, um, uh, will be split. So um, on, on Twitter, which means um, only 280 first characters will be added uh, on Twitter. What we need to do right here is customize the post for each social network. So I'm right here on Twitter. I'm going to edit the text. I'm going to cut some text, uh, make it shorter. And if that text is um, very important, so I want to have the whole, uh, the whole text, the whole, whole ca characters right there, I can add a thread. I can create a thread for that Twitter account. So if I click here, follow up comment, I can select Twitter, allow add follow up comments, and I can continue uh, the text right here. If the text is still longer than 20, 
280 characters, I can continue to add an, another com comment, another comment. On Facebook, on Instagram, LinkedIn, and YouTube, you can add up to two follow-up comments, and on Twitter, you can create a whole thread of 15 tweets. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna take uh, fa uh, this Facebook page as an example. Every feature and tool that I'm about to explain works for all the social accounts that you add to Publer, so you're good. So here we go. I have some text here. I'm gonna grab a photo real quick. Um, let's go with this one. And right now I have this superpower here. This is the hashtag generator, uh, which will provide me some trending uh, hashtags. Um, it is real time trending hashtags. And if you're curious to know, you shouldn't use a lot of hashtags on uh, Facebook, on LinkedIn and Twitter. Uh, on, on Twitter, for example, you can use up to uh, two uh, hashtags because as I said, it only allows uh, 280 characters so you don't want to um spend so you don't want to waste the whole uh characters on hashtags and on linkedin as well you can use up to three maximum uh when it comes to instagram it's more uh, it's different because uh i've heard a lot of things about instagram effect um, I've heard that you shouldn't use the 30 hashtags, etc. You can only use 6 to 11. Well, I really, really think that there is a reason why Instagram allows you to add up to 30 hashtags. Um, and I would highly recommend you use the 30 hashtags if you are a small brand and you want to get more visibility, you want to reach more people, um, because hashtags work just like filters. So yeah, feel free to use them all. And um, if you are more curious about that, uh, I would highly recommend you use one branded hashtag. Uh, two um, hashtags have to be related with uh, the industry, for example, um, in our case, software or technology. Um, and also three hashtags have to be related with the location. For example, if you're located in Italy, use a hashtag, hashtag Italy, hashtag made in Rome or something like that. And six hashtags have to be um, common. Uh, for example, hashtag food, hashtag uh, nature. Those are pretty common. And the rest, uh, try to use them to use more uncommon hashtags. Uh, for example, tips to live by. This is somehow uncommon. Okay, so I'm gonna click this hashtag uh, generator here and it will generate some hashtags based on this image. If I had a link, then it would generate some hashtags based on that link. So what the link contains. And also, it also works uh, just like this for the videos and uh, the GIFs. Or uh, if you only have some text, it will also work for the text only. So let's suppose you are, you are talking about uh, the horoscope, then it will generate some training hashtags based on that text on the horoscope. Okay, so I'm gonna click hashtags and let's see what pops up. Okay, camera gram, uh, interesting, art share, visual artist. I'm gonna use these. And um, right here, I have some other tools. Um, this one is the location tagging tool. Um, try to use uh, try to use it every time. It works for uh, Facebook, for Instagram, and for Twitter. Uh, let me go with Paris, for example. I'm taking every uh, capital city in Europe. Um, okay, so here we go. I have tagged. Uh, I have tagged Paris and yeah here we go so um, as I said this is the follow-up comment uh, tool I would highly recommend you use all these um, hashtags as, as the comment because um, you, you need to have the caption nice and clean. It's, it's better for, uh, for your brand. And I always schedule these, uh, these hashtags. I always schedule these uh, follow-up comments. So let me uh, enable this one. I removed the hashtags there. I can use the hashtag tool right here as well. But being that I copied them, I'm gonna paste it like this. I can also add another comment. 
So if you need, for example, to, um, to make people curious about your next event and you can say, hey, the location is on the commons, feel free to uh, reload the page and come back for uh, in 30 minutes and the event will be right here, already scheduled as, as a comment. So yeah, you can do that. Another cool feature is the auto share. So in case you want to cross promote your content, you have, uh, you, you've created an, an announcement on LinkedIn and you want to share that announcement on Facebook as well or on Twitter as well. You can do that by using this cool feature right here, how to share. So let me click that and I can decide right now where to share this exact post. So let's suppose I'm gonna add LinkedIn here. I can decide for a delay and I can say, for example, check, check this, okay typos check this facebook post out and i can decide to share this after one hour click save and here you go so as soon as this post is shared exactly after one hour this post will automatically be shared on linkedin as well and this is how you cross promote this is how you let people know that hey we're on, we're on linkedin too or we're on facebook too so go and follow us and yeah, it will help you with the visibility. Um, also, there's the auto-delete uh, auto tool. Um, for example, if you're having a collaboration uh, with an influencer or there is a promotion going on and this promotion or collaboration will last for only, let's suppose, um, 24 hours. And then you want to delete the post maybe you won't remember that uh, and this is why we use Publer for that to automatically schedule the deletion of that post so i'm gonna click this i'm gonna enable auto delete and i'm going to automatically delete this post for example after one day which means as soon as this post is shared after one day this post will be automatically deleted from your feed on facebook you can also hide it only on Facebook. So yeah, click save and here you go. Our post is properly curated. We have everything here. Not a very beautiful text, but <laughs> anyway. So yeah, you can also add emojis uh, from the built-in system or if you want, let me uh, zoom in. If you want, you can write a column and search for something like this. Okay, so um, there are multiple ways you could post and schedule your uh, your posts if i click post it will be automatically shared on the social account that i have selected uh, in this case on facebook it will automatically post if i click draft then i can save it for later maybe i need more information about this salad or this thing that i'm creating so i'm gonna click draft and then I can name the draft and I can find my drafts by going to posts and selecting drafts. And here you go. So I have a lot of drafts here. I have for later February. Apparently I've done this uh, on January. And here you go. You can edit the draft, you can delete it forever or start using it right away because you have all the information that you need. Um, also, you can click schedule. So let me click schedule. I'm going to change mode down here. And here we go. There are four modes of scheduling. The first one is called manually. It is pretty straightforward. Uh, simply select a date and a time. For example, I want this post to be scheduled uh, May 3rd at 10 o'clock. Simply click schedule and this post will be automatically scheduled. Okay, let's go to the calendar and we are going to go May 3rd and here you go. This is our post. I can click on that. I can also preview it right here. Here you go. I have the location. I have the text, uh, the photo. Everything looks great. I can also preview it on the mobile view. It looks great. So I'm going to keep it like this. The second uh, mode of scheduling is called auto schedule. For this one, you need to create a specific posting schedule. Let's suppose, for example, uh, that you share 
photos on Mondays, you share videos on Tuesdays, you share GIFs on Wednesdays, etc. Let's go to accounts. I'm gonna open a new tab and head to accounts. So as I said, I'm gonna take this Facebook page just as an example. So uh, I'm gonna click on this Facebook page and let's go to a posting schedule. Right here, I'm gonna create some time slots. Um, for example, eight o'clock uh, on Mondays, I usually share, let's suppose, status update, which means uh, I want to share a quote every Monday to cheer up my audience. So I'm gonna leave it status update. You can either decide to add a label for that, for example, um, quote, and click create. So now you know that whenever you are about to create a brand new post that contains text, only then you can simply click schedule let's change mode down here click auto schedule and now you can select quote which means um the first available uh monday um the first available time slot is uh next monday at eight o'clock so if i click schedule this post will be automatically scheduled on the first available time slot um, so the same goes, for example, um, if I choose um, 11 o'clock, um, let's say on Fridays, I usually share, why don't I take a uh, Publer as an example, uh, 15, 40, most of our audience is located in the US uh, on Facebook. So uh, I'm gonna choose this time on Friday, post type link, and I'm gonna, uh, call this one update because this is when we uh, share for example updates so i'm gonna click create and now this posting schedule works for the posts that contain a link so i'm gonna grab a link so i'm gonna click let me go to the blog i went to linkedin okay let me go to the blog real quick and i'm going to select this article and i'm going to paste it right here um, I didn't choose a link post by mistake because I wanted to show you this cool feature. Uh, Publer allows you to add call to action buttons on Facebook and Google My Business. I don't have a Google My Business account right here, uh, but let me show you how it works on, uh, on Facebook. So this is a link and I'm going to select right here. I can choose whatever I need. I can say, uh, hey people subscribe or sign up contact us but in this case this is an update so i'm going to say learn more so if i click preview this is how it will look like and this is something that facebook itself doesn't allow and we do so here we go there is a learn more button um and here we go so right now if i click schedule i can select update and the first available time slot for this one will be uh, this Friday, in our case, at uh, 3.40 p.m. And yeah, here we go. So um, another mode of scheduling. So I, uh, I'm thinking this is all clear. Uh, another mode of scheduling is a recycling mode. I'm sure um many of you are using it and in fact you should use it because recycling makes your um makes your content evergreen it never dies uh, all you do is reach as many people uh, as possible and it is a very very good thing if uh if you launch something there is a big announcement and you want uh as many people as possible to read that announcement to, to reach that announcement then you should use the recycling mode also uh, for example you have created a gif you are very proud of that gif and you want to share it with the world and you want to let everyone know that hey i have created a gif and you can recycle it as many times as as, as you need so right now i'm gonna head to the posting schedule again and I'm going to create a time slot for the evergreen content. Let's suppose I want to share, I want to schedule my gifts at nine o'clock uh, during uh, the weekend, so on Saturday. So I'm gonna select give, and I'm gonna make myself a favor and call this one recycle gift. Click create and here you go. Now you have specified uh, the post type, the time and the date. 
So um, right here, I'm gonna remove the link and I'm gonna add a GIF instead. Not that one. Here we go, this one. So right now I'm gonna click schedule and I'm gonna change mode to go to the recycling mode. So uh, I'm gonna select recycle GIF. And right now I have some options, whether I want to recycle, for example, um, every once a week or every two months or once a year, whatever you need. So let's go with once a week. I want to recycle only if there are no other scheduled posts because we are good citizens. We do not want to spam Facebook. So if I have already uh, shared, if I have something else scheduled on Facebook for that day, then I don't want to uh, post anymore. So you can recycle only if there are no other scheduled posts for that day. Let's select the start date. I want to start recycling start uh, this, this Saturday. Click save and also you can decide when it is going to expire. Uh, for example, after, after it has been posted 20 times. Right now, another cool thing about the visual calendar is that you can see, you can predict when this post is going to go out. So when you're planning uh, your content, you know that, okay, on Saturdays, I know that I'm recycling the, the GIF, so I won't, uh, I won't worry about Saturday. So yeah, let's go to the calendar. And here you go. Let me go to the monthly view. And here we go. So every Saturday, this post will be recycled uh, 20 times. So 20 Saturdays in a row. And another cool uh, scheduling mode is the recurring mode. For example, you, uh, you are having a collaboration or maybe you are organizing a giveaway. Uh, there is a promotion, uh, there's something on sale. So let me call this one giveaway. You do not need a posting schedule for this uh, mode of scheduling. So I'm gonna click schedule. I'm gonna change mode down here and go with the recurring. So let's suppose the giveaway starts on Monday and it ends uh, May 23rd. And I'm gonna decide for a time, let's say seven o'clock. And I want to repeat this exact post, let's say every two days. So every two days, I'm gonna share the exact post so people know that, hey, there is a giveaway going on on my site. So let's click schedule. And now we can go to the calendar and see when our post is, okay, as you can see, giveaway, 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 every two days. Okay, uh, also we have um, the option to bulk schedule posts. Uh, here you go, these are the options. So you can add the post. So you're creating a post right here and you remember, oh, I have some other things in mind. So I'm gonna add a real post, uh, a quick post right here. And you can do that for as many times as you, as you need. Another mode is uh, the bulk, uh, another option is the bulk upload. So if you click this, you can upload up to 500 visual content at the same time. So you can schedule up to 500 posts at the same time. You can also use the CSV import. Let's view an example real quick. Um, here you go. Um, the first column is always filled with the date and you can fill the CSV file with 500 posts as well. They can be a mix. So one post uh, contains a link, another one contains a photo, another one contains text only. That's all up to you. The first column is filled with the date. You could say the exact time and date or next Friday at 2 p.m. Fabler understands that, so we're good. Um, or you could leave it blank because you have already created some time slots. You can have created time slot for uh, recycling. You have created time slot for, for example, um, the quote or the photos or the videos, the gifts, whatever you need. Um, this column is filled with the text. We have said message, so this is the caption. This column is filled with the links. Uh, for example, the website. This one is filled with the media URLs. You see a Google picture, you like it a lot, copy the link and paste it right here. Pablo will download that for you. And also, here you go, we have um, the title name, the title column, where you can add the Facebook album titles you want to save some photos or videos to. So you can specify the album title right here, or you can add the video title. 
right here on this column. And the last one, as I said, works for, um, for the labels that you have previously created. And I've got to let you know that uh, bulk scheduling uh, is easier if you have prepared a posting schedule. So you know perfectly well when you are going to share photos, uh, you know when you are going to share GIFs. So no matter, regardless of the post type that you um, upload or uh, create, Publer knows where, uh, when to schedule what. So you're good. Okay, so I'm gonna head to accounts real quick. I'm gonna select this Facebook page. Um, besides the posting schedule, we have some watermark. We have uh, the option. We provide the option to add some watermarks. I have added uh, two logos. Those are uh, both PNG files. So let me click this white logo, for example. Um, I have already named it. I can decide this opacity. I can mark it as a default one. So whenever I upload a visual content, it works for photos and videos too. Um, if I make it a uh, default, then it will automatically be added. This logo will automatically be added. So I can make some changes. If I'm not happy with the size or the location, I can move it around. See, it looks better right here. I can make it smaller and yeah, I can decide it's padding as well. If you click update, then it is saved just like that. And if I upload a brand new photo, then the um, watermark, I can add the watermark in two ways. So if you haven't marked it as a default one, then let me grab a photo real quick. Let's make sure to use something like this. And if I click down here, media options, I can select the watermark. So if I go with the white one, let's preview it. Here we go. I'm gonna put it right here. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna click save. So if you preview the whole post, then the watermark is already added. Let's go to signatures. Um, this is a life saving feature, uh, feature because you can add uh, some contact information. For example, you're too lazy to write a lot of contact information every time that you create a brand new post. So you can create a signature and it will be added automatically at the bottom of the caption. So I have created two examples here. The contact info I have added, I have, I have added the phone number, an email address and the website. So um, it takes me a lot of time to add these uh, information uh, while I'm creating a brand new post. So I'm gonna create a, a signature for that. And also there is a slogan. Uh, yeah, this is my creativity. Uh, this is a slogan. So you can mark one of these signatures as a default one. So whenever you create a brand new post, this signature is automatically added at the bottom. So let me let me show you how it works. So let me uh, click this pen icon, signature. Let's choose, for example, contact info. So I have some text here, blah, 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 and click preview. So if I click see more, this is the contact info that I want for my post. As I said, you can mark it as a default one. You don't have to manually add it. And uh, let's go to uh, URL settings. We have seven link shortener options right here. Um, whichever you feel more comfortable to use, all you need to do is simply select it, hit connect, and here you go. Every link that you add to Publer will be shortened uh, using this uh, link shortener that you have chosen. So in this case, I linked Bitly, for example, uh, on this Facebook page. So um, Bitly will shorten all the links that I have for, uh, that I add uh, to this Facebook page. And also you can track where the clicks are coming from. If you, are, if you enable Google Analytics and the keys and values are filled by default by Publer, but um, you can make the changes that, that you want. Simply make sure to hit save. Yes, I haven't connected it. Let's go to the short codes. Okay, um, short codes or else shortcuts. Um, there are some things that you write very often on your posts. Oh, uh, let's suppose for example, um, that you want to write the email address multiple times throughout the post, or you want to write um, a group of, you want to keep your hashtags grouped. Um, you have a group of hashtags called collapse. So it works for uh, collaborating, let's suppose uh, with 
with a brand, Fashion Nova or something. So you have created a group of hashtags like this. You have created another group of hashtags uh, regarding your brand, another group of hashtags, something like this, nature lover, made in Paris or something. And you have also created um, some short codes, for example, for the phone number and the email address. You can create up to 50 short codes. Let me show you how you can use these short codes while you are creating, while you are preparing your post. So um, let's say call us on two curly brackets and I can add the phone number right away. And I also have um, the email address. So let's say contact us, two curly brackets and add the email. And here you go. So let's suppose this is a collaboration. So I'm gonna add two curly brackets and collapse. So it doesn't look very beautiful like this. Uh, and let me remove the signature real quick. And I'm gonna preview the whole post and here you go. Everything is added by, uh, fr from Publer and there is everything that, that you need. Okay, um, let's go back. Um, here's the media library where you can uh, add media from Google Drive, as I said earlier, from Google Drive, Dropbox, Unsplash. There is no limit. Add as many visual content as you want. And also you can grab something from, um, from the local stories or upload from external URLs. What I like most about uh, this, this um, menu here is Canva. I'm using Canva a lot. I use Canva daily. And in fact, I, uh, it, it used to take me a lot of time to create illustrations, save them to my computer, and then drag them and add them right here to Pablo. So we have found a solution. We have collaborated. And here you go. Let me go to Canva real quick so I can show you how you can save. Yes how you can save your Canva illustrations right to a uh, Publer in no time. So let's suppose I have this illustration. I'm dragging this all over the screen. <laughs> okay, uh, I have this illustration. I'm gonna click the three dots up here. I'm gonna say, click a search for Publer. Let's select Publer. I have already connected Publer, so I'm gonna choose uh, the demo account and I'm gonna select PNG, it has a higher quality. Let me select the first one only and click save. Now Canva is preparing our design and it will be automatically added to our media library. So no need to drag and drop or save or something else uh, and um, lose too much local storage. So here you go, Canva is preparing our design. Let me click view in Publer real quick. And here you go. This is our design by Canva. I can filter by Canva as well. These are, uh, this is everything that I have uh, gotten from Canva. I can mark a media as favorite if I want. I can filter by type. I can filter by usage, something that I haven't used. For example, I want to use the ones that I, have, uh, I haven't used. I can add some labels. For example, I'm gonna click on this illustration and add some label, labels. For example, festival like this. I can add some comments as well. Let me click save. And right now I can find festival right here. So if I click that, this will be uh, the illustration that it will show me because this is the only illustration that has this label. And also, um, let me drag this one right here. Um, you can also view um, your content, your visual content here on the media library on uh, the list here, like, like this. So you can see every single detail. Did I mention that um, you could also import some media from Unsplash? Um, okay, so let's go to RSS feeds. I'm sure most of you have blogs and um, you don't have time to uh, share a new blog article, copy the link and then go back to Publer and then schedule. So we have found a solution for that as well what you need to do is add the RSS feed URL right here. There is no limit. You can add as many as you need. You can also add Pablo's blog if you want to share our articles. So let's uh, try one feed name, for example, Pablo, the feed URL. I'm gonna grab Pablo's blog. 
like this. Our blog is hosted on WordPress. So I'm going to add the word feed like this. I'm going to include decide whether I want to include some keywords. Maybe I want to uh, import the articles uh, that contain the word business only, for example. And I want to exclude the articles that contain the word, let's suppose, COVID. I don't want these articles. Nobody wants those articles. So um, let's go and choose, for example, uh, an action uh, towards these new articles. It will work for the new articles. So let's go with, for example, no action. It means that you share a brand new post or blog article, Publer will pull that new article and it will be listed like the other ones that I have in the background. So there will be no action taken. You can decide to remove them, to use them or whatever you need. If you go without a post, it means that as soon as a brand new article is shared on the blog, Publer will pull it and will automatically share it, for example, on this Facebook page. So there is no time for you to lose. Publer will do everything, will automate the scheduling process. You can decide to use the link title as caption and use uh, and the link description as caption. That's all up to you. And simply click add and Publer will generate this type of action for the new articles. And the third action that you can take for the new articles is auto schedule, which we already know. You can create a posting schedule for links uh, so for posts that contain a link and here you go I have Facebook here and let's suppose uh, I have the update here this one was uh, this one contained um, a link so right here if I click add every new article that we share on, on the blog Publer will pull it and will automatically schedule it uh, using this time slot so every Friday at 3 40 p.m. Click add and off you go. Um, here we go, we have the content as well. Um, this works perfectly fine if you don't know what to post on social media. This is uh, something that I do as well because not every day is a very creative day. It depends on the mood or the moon or something. So um, yeah, you can come to this section and search uh, by country. For example, I want to see what is happening in Belgium regarding business, click view. These are the top trending articles. It is very recommended to use these articles, not every day, of course, that's all up to you, but it is recommended because um, these people know these, um, these sites. For example, this one in Belgium. They know this size, they believe in this size, they know that this site, this article is, is good information. So I'm gonna click on that. So yeah, you can share that. Um, also, you can use this search area right here uh, by keywords. Let's suppose I'm gonna search for social media. What has happened with social media? Uh, let me zoom out. Uh, during April, okay, let me select a start date and an end date until tomorrow. You can decide for a language. Every language is available here. Let me go with English sort by i want to sort these by a uh, date and you can decide to include some domains um for example cnn or something and exclude some others maybe you're not a fan of medium or something it, it's just an example um so yeah simply click search and every article based on these um the search that you have done will appear right here and also you can save the queries because you don't have time to always uh create uh, always search from scratch you can save the queries i have saved some right here i have some blogging tips for example i have something related to meditation financial news in january so i have specified it so yeah it is a very good thing to specify it and yeah okay um, another part of Publer is the analytics. So let me switch team real quick. I don't have insights on the demo team. Let me go to analytics real quick. Here we go. You can see the insights for the past uh, seven days, this week, last week, this month, and last month. At the moment, you can see followers talking about post reach, post engagement, link clicks, which works for the link in bio clicks and uh, as well, 
and also the video views. If you scroll down, you can see specific post insights. For example, I want to uh, select this Instagram account. I can see that, for example, this post has gained 68 likes and uh, 10 link clicks, which means this post um, had made people click on the link in bio and learn more about what I have posted. And now I'm curious what this thing that I have posted. So I'm gonna click this and yeah, okay. It was about the social media holidays. Everyone wants to know this. So yeah, here's the link as well, um, right, right here. This is the link that they clicked on the link in bio. Okay, so um, right now I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch team again and head to the demo team because we are about to create a brand new link in bio um, dashboard from scratch. So let me go to accounts. I'm gonna select Instagram and let's go to link in bio. Okay, so right now I'm gonna say uh, fashion. Let's suppose I wanna call this um, fashion. And the website, which one is the website? Let me select Publer right here. Um, I want to say, uh, for example, visit website. You can add whatever you need here. Of course, as I said earlier, you can add a shop or something else. So right now um, we have this link and we have the website. So let me remove some tabs. And okay, the link. Let me go to the uh, Publer's link in bio and show you what I'm doing uh, in real time. So I have added the link of bio slash fashion, which is the link of bio slash right here. Then I have added the website and I've called this one visit website. That's all up to you. And here we go. I have, can I move this one? Okay. Um, visit website. I shouldn't do this. This is the website right here. Um, then I can add some links. I can add up to 15 links, which will work just like these right here. So I have some socials, I have some products on sale, and I can decide to add them right here. Maybe I'm proud of five um, blog articles and I want to add them like uh, story highlights right here. I can say, um, for example, social media holidays on the first one. I can say uh, learn about Gen Z on the second one, etc. But I would highly recommend you use all the socials because everyone who clicks this one, it's, this looks just like a mini website. And by the way, this is free. Um, you can add all 15 links and uh, the websites and uh, link some uh, links to each Instagram photo for free. So um, right here, let's suppose I'm gonna use uh, the blog. Um, I'm gonna add the blog here. Okay, let me. Okay, here we go. Um, right here, we can add all the 15 links. Um, this is the tool tip. So um, tap on a post to learn more. This is what we have decided. If you, if your audience, for example, is located in France, you can write that in French. So this is not something that we wanted to add by default. So you could keep it right there. Um, you can write it in French. You're located in German, Germany, you can write it in uh, Dutch or German. So yeah, let's add some links. Uh, I'm gonna call this one blog and I'll add the link here. I can also add an image. I have, we have already added some uh, PNG files up here. This is uh, the brand color of Publer. So we we'll like it that way. And let's click, um, for example, tap here. I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna click save and here you go. I'm gonna click, uh, copy this link, paste it right here. This will be the brand new link in bio that I created. So we need to add some uh, photos right here. So um, let's go to create. Um, let's suppose I'm going to select a photo, this one. I'm gonna add the link right here, which sends me to uh, this one, let me grab something else. I have a lot of links like this. And right now I want to, uh, I simply want to show you how it works. So I'm gonna click 
uh, post and it will be automatically shared so we can see it in real time how it looks like okay it's already shared let's make sure it's already shared and yeah here you go so everyone who clicks the link in bio can see this dashboard it's very ugly for the moment but um let's click this image and it will automatically send us to the link that we have added and yeah here you go there is no limit you can add links to every single image that you schedule to Publer, every single one and if you sync the ones that were older by using the synchronization so you can go let me go to accounts instagram sync post now or the other or the older photos will automatically be synced and uh, you can add links to those as well um, there are two things that I would, uh, I don't want to miss. Uh, I don't want to, let's say, skip. The first one is uh, the browser extension. We currently have a plugin uh, on Safari, for Safari, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, and Microsoft Edge. You can add one for free. Um, and you can share posts using that plugin from anywhere. Um, let me make sure that uh, I have, let me, right here, let me pin it. I wanted to show you, this is why I have unpinned it. So let me go to Unsplash real quick and let's search for cats. So, okay. If I hover the mouse to this image, for example, I can see a share button. If I click that, Popular will pop up. So what you need to do is maybe you want to save it as draft. That's all up to you. But you can select your social account and start scheduling right away. It works for visual content and not only. You can also um, grab a link, for example. Um, let me go to Google real quick and search for Popular like this and this is the link i'm gonna right click and select publer i can share the link with publer or the selection with publer so it works for text so you see a beautiful quote you want to share the quote with your audience to make them happy and you can share the selection with publer or you can share the link with publer so i'm gonna click that and here you go publer will automatically pop up again so no need for you to open publer on a new tab publer will be open wherever you are and this is the browser extension which i said is available on four different browsers and the last one i would highly recommend you use the alt text so let me grab an image real quick i'm gonna grab this one again so here we go if i hover the mouse with this image there is a, a little uh, icon right here you can click that and add a caption this caption is in fact the alt text. It is very important because um, not many people, uh, I don't think many people know this, but it boosts your CEO um, score. So let's say you want this image that you're about to schedule on Facebook, you want this image to appear on Google as well. First thing. Second, you uh, this alt text is the text that uh, used for uh, the ones that are visually impaired. So it's the text that, um, for example, an image is not being reloaded, and it's exactly the text that you see right there. Is the text that some people some people read to the visually impaired uh, ones. And it is actually very important. And I would highly recommend you use up to 125 characters and uh, please avoid the decorations or fillings. So I feel very good about this beautiful um, camera. No, this is pink, pink camera. Uh, for example, a hand with a pink camera, something like this. Use nouns more than uh, decorations or, and pronouns or something like that. And yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, another thing um, I'm gonna select here. Let me go to, I think I have it right here. We would highly appreciate, and of course you'd love um, to 
spread the word about Publer in case you love the tool, of course. And doing that, we will absolutely uh, reward you for doing that. And let me scroll down. You can become an ambassador. You can, all you need to do is create a unique link and share it with your audience and you will get paid. And uh, the benefits are up to 70% commission on new paying customers. So uh, you're sharing an article, you're sharing something, you want to uh, share a review or you're writing an article and you want to mention your top marketing tool, uh, tools. So what you need to do is when you mention Publer, link your affiliate, your ambassador link to that. And whoever clicks that, you will uh, and of course, uh, joins us, joins Publer, and uh, you will absolutely earn. And you can see real time earnings on, on your dashboard. I don't want to open mine right now. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is pretty much it. Another thing uh, is that let me go to get a discount. I'm sure uh, I love this. So, I'm sure you, you will love that as well you can earn up to 33% discount for monthly uh, invoices, on your monthly invoices. If you want, for example, to write an article about Publer, um, you can earn 20% of all your future invoices. If you give a review or some feedback on these options that we have listed here, and if you do everything uh, that you see here, you can earn up to 33% discount of all your future invoices. Another thing that I don't want to um, miss out, let me go to plans and pricing. Um, if you decide, for example, to um, pay or to get Publer for, uh, let's say, uh, three months, you can get a 15% discount. For six months, you will get a 17% discount and for uh, a year, you can get a 20% discount and also there is another offer going on uh, for every nine social accounts the tenth one is free and the same goes for the team members so for not for every nine team members the tenth one is free and yeah here you go um i am sure i have covered everything i guess and um i well, thank you very much for uh, being here and for your interest. I hope um, everything was clear enough. This video has already been recorded, so um, this video will also be on YouTube uh, tomorrow. So if you have some other questions, you can always reach us out on our uh, chat box here on the website, of course. Um, because it is very important for us if you have some questions we would uh reply to you um anytime and also you can click here three lines and go to the help center everything is explained in details and in screenshots and everything and uh yeah you can go back to uh over the video again on on youtube we will share it uh i'm thinking tomorrow so um yeah Thank you very much for being here. If you have some questions, please let us know. And uh, I have also another thing before I forget. I don't know why I'm forgetting a lot. Um, okay, so let me, okay. I think, okay, I'm new to, um, to Zoom, so excuse my, uh, yeah. I'm going to share a poll with you. Um, this poll is about our next um, our next webinar. We are already planning it, and I would highly appreciate it if you could give us, let's say, uh, an idea of what it uh, what you want to learn more. So I'm going to launch the poll. Um, maybe you want to know more about the content strategy. I haven't talked enough. I wanted to get you uh, to, to learn Publer. So um, yeah, it's about content strategy, repurposing ideas, uh, social media stats over years. It's very important to know some stats and also Publer's roadmap uh, until December uh, 2021. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this poll uh, for you to vote. Um, Okay, I can see that, okay, everything. 
I can see that you want everything. <laughs> so we are gonna cover everything. And uh, I'm sure the next webinars will also have some uh, surprises. We will invite some other professionals that will give us some ideas uh, about how we can properly manage our social networks. So yeah, I think, um, Okay, I will wait for another, uh, another minute and then I'm going to share the results with y'all. <clears throat> and I can also see that many people have uh, have written on the chat box and I'm very curious to know what you have all talked. So. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think, I think this is enough. Um, I'm going to end the poll right now and I can share uh, the results with you. Okay, here we go. Uh, so you want to know more about content strategy and I'm going to make sure that, uh, uh, let's say around a month from now uh, to, to prepare some real good content uh, for you all to, uh, to learn and to practice. Um, as I said, I'm a content manager uh, and also a social media manager. I can see the difference between the two, but I can also see uh, how important it is to uh, link both of these, to mix both of these. And um, okay, I'm gonna stop sharing. Thank you very much for being here. I hope everything is clear. Please feel free to reach out uh, if you have some questions and uh, stay safe and happy. Bye-bye.